Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make an easy, protein-packed pasta from ingredients you probably already have, so stick around. Welcome back to No Recipes. I'm Mark Matsumoto, and I'm here to show you how to elevate your everyday meals. So hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss out. Right now, most of the world is in lockdown, and it's a difficult moment for everyone. Although it's probably gonna be a while before things are better, just because you can't get out doesn't mean you can't eat well. I've made this ridiculously simple chickpea pasta from ingredients that many of you probably already have laying around the house. So whether you're watching this in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, or you're tuning in from the future, now is as good a time as ever to raid the pantry, take inspiration, and create something new. All right, let's have a look at what's in the pantry. Okay, I've got two tablespoons of olive oil, some chili flakes to taste, three extra large cloves of garlic, two small tomatoes, and a 380 gram pack or can of chickpeas that I've drained. I'm also using a 400 gram jar or can of tomato puree, some of the drained liquid from the pack of chickpeas, one teaspoon of salt, 225 grams of spaghetti, one tablespoon of my plant-based Parmesan, see the link in the description, and some parsley for garnish. The first thing you'll wanna do is put a large pot of water on to boil while you prepare everything else. For the garlic, I'm gonna cut vertical slits in it from the tip towards the root, leaving enough garlic intact on the root end to hold it all together. Then I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees and repeat the same slits so you end up with a bunch of sticks of garlic that are held together by the root. Now I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees on the other axis and mince it up. It's okay if it's not perfectly uniform, but you can go back over it with your knife like this if you wanna get it smaller. For the tomato, I'm gonna core it and then I'm gonna cut it into thick slices. Then we're gonna cut those slices into sticks. Turn those sticks 90 degrees and cut them into cubes. The trick when cutting tomatoes is to use a very sharp knife and to use the weight of the knife and a forward motion to cut through it. You don't want to apply any downward pressure or the tomato's going to turn to mush. If you don't have a knife that's sharp enough to do this, try using a serrated knife like a bread knife or a steak knife and then use a sawing motion, being sure you don't apply any downward pressure. Next, let's mince up the parsley. A few of my herbs, including this flat leaf parsley, survived winter. So I've got some nice garnishes coming out of the garden now that it's spring. Okay, your water should be boiling by now, so let's salt it. I usually add about a tablespoon of table salt for every gallon of water. When the salt has dissolved, add the spaghetti to the water and get it submerged. We're gonna boil this for about three minutes less than what the package directions say because we wanna finish the pasta in our sauce. For the sauce, I'm gonna start by adding the olive oil to a large frying pan over high heat. Then we're gonna add the garlic to the pan and saute it until it's cooked through and super fragrant. Now I'm gonna add the chili flakes and swirl it around the oil a few times. You wanna infuse the oil with the chili flavor, but be careful not to burn it or it's gonna end up tasting bitter. This is smelling pretty good already, so let's add the fresh tomatoes. These are gonna add a fruity brightness to our sauce that the tomato puree just doesn't have. It's important to fry the tomatoes here until they start to break down and you've burnt off some of that moisture, otherwise your sauce is gonna end up watery. 
Okay, now let's add the chickpeas. Give that a few tosses. And then we're gonna go in with the tomato puree and salt. Now we'd normally let this simmer for a while to reduce the sauce. But since our chickpeas are already cooked, I'm gonna cut a corner here. Your pasta should be a few minutes shy of the boiling time on the package by now. So let's drain it. Then we're gonna add it into the sauce. By adding the pasta to the sauce early, it absorbs the excess liquid from the sauce, making it nice and thick while seasoning the spaghetti. Because the pasta isn't fully submerged, it's important to keep it moving around the pan so that it cooks through evenly. If your sauce starts getting too thick before the pasta is fully cooked, add some of the chickpea liquid. This liquid is loaded with amino acids from the chickpeas and it'll add flavor to your sauce without watering it down. Finally, I'm going to add some of my plant-based parmesan. This is going to add body and umami to our sauce, which makes it taste like it's been simmering for a lot longer than it actually has been. Okay, this is looking perfect, so let's get this plated up. To finish it off, I'm going to sprinkle it with some more vegan parmesan. I make mine using a blend of walnuts, cashews, and dried mushrooms, along with some nutritional yeast, and it's addictively good. I'll include a link to that video in the end screen, so stick around for that. Alright, let's hit that with a little parsley, and our pasta is done. This easy pasta comes together in under 15 minutes from ingredients you probably already have around your kitchen, and yet it's satisfying and delicious. The chickpeas ensure it's packed with protein and fiber, and there's just enough pasta in there to give you your fix of carbs without bogging you down. The best part about this though is how flexible it is. I've kept this one super basic, but you can zing yours up with some olives, capers, and lemon zest, or you can take it in a completely different direction with some cumin, cinnamon, coriander, and even some raisins. I sometimes even add some coconut cream to mellow it out, and it ends up tasting a bit like vodka sauce. There's a lot of room for variation with this recipe. So raid the pantry, see what you have, come up with something new, and share what you've created in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, you can let me know you want to see more like it by giving this a big thumbs up, and by sharing this with all your friends that could use an easy pasta recipe. As always, I want to thank my amazing patrons on Patreon who help support this video. If you're learning something new from my recipes, I hope you'll consider clicking the link up here to join the No Recipes crew and help support our future videos. Okay, I'm gonna have this pasta before it gets cold, so stay safe and healthy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Check us out on Instagram at No Recipes. All right, I'm gonna dig in. Hmm. Considering we threw this together in about 10 minutes from stuff from the pantry, this is amazing. It's spicy, the chickpeas are savory and creamy, and they add a little bit of sweetness that balances out that tomato sauce. And you know what really makes this dish? It's this, my vegan Parmesan cheese. Honestly, if you didn't tell me and I was blindfolded, I would think this is some kind of cheese. I mean, it's a little bit more yellow, but in terms of the texture and it adds like this richness and umami, it's so good. Mm. You know, the only thing this needs is a glass of white wine. In fact, I'm gonna go get one. <laughs>